Hello guys, welcome to MBBS Meet Easy and our topic today is cavernous sinus thrombosis. Before going into detail, let's discuss the anatomy first. All right. So consider this is our brain, okay? And the first layer after our brain is pia mater. The second layer is arachnoid mater, okay? These are all meningeal layer and the third and outermost layer is dura mater. Dura mater itself consists of two layers. The inner layer is called as meningeal layer of dura mater and the outer layer is called as uh, periosteal layer of dura mater. Okay, so uh, in between the two layer, here is a space in which the dural venous sinus is located and cavernous sinus is one of dural venous sinus which locate between the two layer of dura mater. Now let's see what are the structure passing from cavernous sinus. So from cavernous sinus there is a passage of third cranial nerve, fourth cranial nerve, um, ophthalmic division of trigeminal nerve means fifth A and maxillary division of trigeminal nerve means fifth B and abducer nerve or sixth cranial nerve plus a very important artery passed through cavernous sinus and this artery is internal carotid artery. This is the only artery which passes through our dural venous sinus. Alright. Now let's see the source of cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay. The first and very important source is sinusitis. Okay. And especially ethmoid sinusitis. Okay. So what happens in sinusitis is when you uh, get ethmoid uh, sinusitis. Okay. The infection passed from a very thin bone, lamina papricia, into orbit. Okay. And it causes orbital cellulitis. Orbital cellulitis is mild form of cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay. And it basically involves the orbit and not the brain. When the orbital cellulitis goes up and involves the brain, it is called cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay. So, sinusitis is the main cause of cavernous sinus thrombosis. The second cause is diabetes and cancer. Why diabetes and cancer? Because both of these are immunosuppressive state and in immunosuppressive state, a patient has a vulnerability to form clots. And what happens when the clots form? Finally, the clot causes thrombosis to occur and cavernous sinus thrombosis is one of the example. Trauma may also cause cavernous sinus thrombosis as trauma may also induce clot formation. Okay. Now let's discuss the symptoms of cavernous sinus thrombosis. All right. Okay. So the symptoms like unilateral Okay. The patient present with unilateral visual loss, sudden and severe headache. Always consider sudden and severe headache as cavernous sinus thrombosis and subarachnoid hemorrhage. It may be cavernous sinus thrombosis, it may be subarachnoid hemorrhage. Unilateral eye swelling, okay, patient present with unilateral eye swelling, eyelid drooping, okay, and high grade fever. As cavernous sinus thrombosis life threatening condition, it present with high grade fever, okay, and third, fourth, and Sixth nerve palsy and usually sixth cranial nerve involves more than any other cranial nerve. So the patient is unable to see medially as well as laterally and as well as inferiorly. Okay, as the third cranial nerve is involved in medial movement of eyeball, sixth cranial nerve in lateral movement, and fourth cranial nerve supplies superior oblique. So the patient is unable to see uh, inferior. Unable to move eyeball inferiorly. Okay. Now let's see how the diagnosis is made in case of cavernous thrombosis. Okay. CT is best modality. Why? Because it is less costly and less time consuming. Okay. And uh, post gadolinium fat suppression MRI is most specific and most sensitive test for cavernous sinus thrombosis. Okay. Why post gadolinium uh, fat suppression MRI? Because uh, normally you have to suppress the normal orbital fat as our eye contain its own fat. Okay. So in order to see thrombosis, you have to suppress 
नॉर्मल फैट दैट्स वाई वी आर यूजिंग फैट सप्रेशन नाम आ रहा है एंड गेडोलिनियम इज बेसिकली अ डाई ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन अवेलेबल ओके द ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन अवेलेबल एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू इट इज अ इमरजेंसी कंडीशन सो वी हैव टू गिव आई वी एंटीबायोटिक्स लाइक आई वी नेफसिलिन एंड आई वी मैट्रोनिडोजोल ओके इन केस ऑफ चाइल्ड कैवेना साइनस थ्रोम्बोसिस गिव आई वी सेकेंड जनरेशन से फैलोस्पोरिन डॉक्टर में ऑल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब हिपेरिन और ब्लड थिनर वाइब हिपेरिन और ब्लड थिनर एज थ्रोम्बोसिस इज अ कंडीशन इन विच क्लॉट्स आर फॉर्म एंड हिपेरिन डायरेक्टली डिग्रेड द क्लॉट्स ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू डिग्रेड क्लॉट्स डॉक्टर में ऑल्सो प्रिस्क्राइब हिपेरिन और ब्लड थिनर दैट्स ऑल अबाउट कैविडस साइनस थ्रोम्बोसिस थैंक यू सो मच